you finished high school, what's next? What are you going to be studying? Have you been talking to my mom? What? No. What happened? Nothing happened. I just really love writing and I love the look on kids' faces when they read a book, but I guess it's a stupid dream. It's not a stupid dream. You have a lot of your father in you. I don't think it's stupid, Grandma, but I'm sure a lot of people do. <laughs> Why do you worry about what other people think? I want to tell you a story. There was a little boy who was dyslexic. As he was growing up, the teachers at the school told his parents that he wouldn't be able to go through school fully like he should, and that they should consider having him become part of the family business, which happened to be farming. Well, he didn't want to do that. He wanted to travel all over the world and in particular, he wanted to take his wife and child with him, and he wanted to go to Scotland and build sand castles on the beach. At 15, unfortunately, both of his parents were killed in an automobile accident. He had to drop out of school. When he dropped out of school, he had to take care of his siblings and had to work on the farm. There was no other way. And he did that for 35 years. He never left? He never left. And you know, along the way, the good, good things do happen. He met the love of his life and they tried very hard to have children, but the doctor told him that there was some unidentified infertility problem and there was no way that she would ever have a child and that was a terrible disappointment to them. And then at 50, he discovers he's got a brain tumor. Wow. It was horrible. And his wife, in talking with the doctor, discovers that he doesn't have many months to live. So she decides to take all of their savings and buy two tickets to Scotland. And so they flew over there, and the two of them traveled all over Scotland, and he built sand castles on every beach that he happened to be on. So it was funny, but he was doing what he had always dreamed he wanted to do. Then, just within a week, of his death, his wife wasn't feeling well. She went to the doctor, and the doctor says, well, you're pregnant. And she was shocked because this was like, she was told she couldn't get pregnant, now she's pregnant. And he's on his last days, but he died with a smile on his face. He traveled like he wanted to. He built sand castles like he wanted to, and he was there with his wife and his child-to-be before he died. So realize, don't let anyone tell you what you should or shouldn't do. They try to protect you and, or say they're protecting you or trying to make you think that you need to do something more practical. But it's your life. And just remember, everyone has to have an opportunity to build a castle on the beach.